everyone, today I am going to be talking you through the things that I take with me in my hand luggage when I travel abroad. Now this is my hand luggage bag, it's my new hand luggage bag actually, Eric got me this for Christmas and I absolutely love it. My last hand luggage bag that I had was a slightly smaller rucksack and I found it really hard to fit everything that I needed in there. I mean I could fit everything in but then it was always really stressful when I was going through security and had to get my laptop out. I pretty much had to get everything out and then repack it all again. So I asked Eric for Christmas if he could get me a new hand luggage rucksack or backpack. I always like to have a backpack because I like to have my hands free. I don't like to have to be dragging anything along and I just find it easier that way and this is the one he got me and I am super super happy with it. I love that this bag has its own laptop compartment and actually it came with a laptop case. So here's my laptop. I actually bought myself a new MacBook Pro for Christmas because you have to treat yourself every once in a while and I really really was in desperate need of a new laptop. And what I do is I don't even take this bag out. It, the bag literally just stays in there and then it means that it's super easy to just slip it in, out, in. That's probably my favorite thing about this bag, <laughs> which is kind of sad, but anyway. Moving on to the very front section of the bag. This is where I keep all of the things that I'm gonna need the easiest access to. So I have this in there. My sister's actually got me this for Christmas. It's personalized with little KM down there. How cute is that? This contains my passport a very well used passport you can see. This has space for currency in there, also for tickets and that kind of thing. What else is in here? Oh, this is my travel purse. So in a normal, have I got something on my nose? I thought like I had a bit of fluff on my nose that was really tickling me and it was quite distracting. Anyway, this is my travel purse. Here's my normal purse actually. On a normal day to day basis when I'm in the UK, this is the purse I use. It's just got more space and it's a bit more roomy. But when I'm traveling, Sometimes it's nice to just have this little purse because it fits into my bags easier. And actually, sometimes if I'm going out, I don't even want to take a bag with me. And this can just fit in my coat pocket or something. So this is my travel purse. What else is in here? Oh, my portable charger. Absolutely vital because no one wants their phone to run out of battery while they're traveling. Especially if, like me, you like to play games on your phone when you're on the flight. In particular, I am obsessed with the game Balls. I've probably got a game going at the moment, actually. On 216. Not a bad score, if I do say so myself. So then in the next compartment of the bag, where to begin here? Okay, so one thing I always take with me when I travel is a book. Ever since I got stuck on the flight going out to Zakynthos, which was supposed to be, I think, a three or four hour flight, and I ended up sitting on the plane for nine or ten hours and then had to stay overnight in Italy, I was absolutely saved by the fact that I had a book with me and I could just sit and read my book because obviously my laptop had run out of battery and there was no in-flight entertainment on the flight because it was supposed to just be a short haul. So now, whenever I travel, I always have a book with me just in case. This book's called Not Working and it's about a woman who quit her job because she wasn't loving it and is now struggling to find out what she wants to do with her life. Uh, anyway, <laughs> oh, I need to stop throwing my things down. Take more care, Katie. So the next thing I have, I would only take if I'm going on a long haul flight, and that is <laughs> this. This is a lifesaver, but it's also slightly embarrassing. It's my travel pillow. Whereas most people have those little round the neck ones, I don't get on with those very well. And I have this, and I look really cool. I can promise you when I start to blow this up on the plane. <sighs> what you do is this goes around the back of your headrest, so it'll be like back here, and it will keep that up there. This part down here attaches to the bottom of your seatbelt on the other side. And then you can actually lie like this. So this is me on a flight trying to sleep, basically. And actually, I find that so much more comfortable than a round the neck pillow. So if you're like me and can't sleep very well on flights, I would highly recommend this. I actually can't remember the name of this. The travel pillow, travel rest. I'll try and find a link to it and put it in the description below for you. Another thing that actually I haven't used yet, but I got this for Christmas. Oh, just throwing some other things around. Didn't know they were in there. I don't normally use eye masks on flights, but I got given this one for Christmas and I think it might be an eye mask that I can actually use. I normally hate the fact that an eye mask, you can kind of feel it pushing on your eyes. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but my eyes are quite bulgy and kind of stick out a bit, really attractive. But this one actually has like little indentations for where your eyes go. So when you have it on, it's not pushing on your eyes. 
So I'm going to give this a go next time I'm on a long haul flight. Here I'll be. Blow up like this. Yeah, I reckon I'm going to look great. Cool. I also always have on a flight with me a notepad and pen just in case I'm sitting there and I think of anything that I really want to write down which sounds so stupid but I feel like on a flight especially a long haul flight when you've got a lot of time to just sit and think that's when I come up with ideas for videos I want to film or moves I want to try and it's really frustrating if you get off the flight on the other side and you can't remember what the ideas were that you had so I like to have a little notebook and pen with me so I can jot those kind of things down. The things I was throwing about earlier were some tablets. I've got some allergy tablets with me because I'm allergic to quite a lot of things and ibuprofen because if you're on a flight and you get a headache it's really not the one so you can just pop some pills. Speaking of allergies I also have my EpiPen with me. I've got a nut allergy so I carry one of these with me everywhere I go. Well I'm supposed to anyway. I have to say sometimes I do forget and people get very angry with me because I don't always have it with me. This is actually a Jext pen, not an Epi pen. Most of you probably won't need to remember to take that when you fly, but I do. And I always keep that in one of these see-through plastic bags that I can then just pop all of my other liquids in. Speaking of which, here's another one. Moisturiser. Moisturiser is absolutely essential on a flight, for me anyway. I have really dry skin at the best of times, but when I'm on a flight and the air is so dry, I just shrivel up, shrivel up? That's a bit extreme. My skin just gets super, super dry, so I always, always have moisturizer with me on a flight. This is just a little Aveeno. Aveeno is probably my favorite moisturizer brand, I would say. It's certainly the one I use the most, and I can just pop all my other liquids in there. It's just super easy, so I actually always keep this Epi pen in that liquids bag so the others can just go in there super easily. So yeah, Epi pen, moisturiser, and what else is in this compartment? Tissues, always useful to have tissues with you when you travel. I don't think I really need to explain to you why you might need tissues. I'm sure you're all very capable of working that out for yourselves. And then in this pocket, I have some face wipes. I'll only really take these if I'm going on a long haul flight. And again, with makeup, I'd only take makeup with me if I'm on a long haul flight, short haul, I don't really need it. But sometimes if you're on a long haul flight, you just wanna get in the plane and take all your makeup off and not have to feel like you have something on your face throughout the flight, because the air in flights is just not the best. And I like to take my makeup off, put my moisturizer on my face, and then when I get to the other side, I'll quickly put a little bit of makeup on. I mean, I only ever carry very basic essential makeup with me. Oh, actually, also in here. I have a couple of things I could mention. Lip balm, really useful when you're traveling because same as your skin, your lips can get very dry. And this is actually a solid perfume, which is really nice and easy for when you're traveling because obviously you can't take your normal big size perfume with you if it's over 100 mil. So this is just like a little solid perfume because when you get off the other side of a flight and you have to go and meet someone straight away, it's not very nice if you're smelly, so. Yeah. Then in the main compartment of my bag is where I keep all of my electricals essentially. So headphones, these are my Bose Quiet Comfort 35s. I love these headphones so much, especially on a flight because they have this noise cancelling option connected to Katie's iPhone. I love having those on a flight because they drown out that background hum that you have constantly on a flight that really annoying zzz noise. And also what's great about these is they come with this adapter. So say if you want to connect to the in-flight entertainment, if it is a long haul flight, you can use the wire and not use the wireless function. And then you know how on some flights they have the double, the double prong. You can just use this little double prong adapter. And uh, there you go, you can use your those quiet comfort 35s on your flight to watch your in-flight entertainment. That was a struggle, wasn't it? Next thing I have in here is my vlogging camera. So that's my Canon G7X with my little flip up screen so I can see what I'm filming. I also have my Joby Gorillapod so that if I wanna be vlogging in the airport or on the flight or yeah, if I want to set my camera up somewhere, I can basically. Also, just in case you're interested, in this pocket here I have my little skinny micro muff, which is good for if I'm filming outside in windy conditions because I can just 
pop this on top of my camera where the microphone is and it will get rid of some of that wind noise, that horrible <sighs> noise that you just really don't want to be hearing. Much like the sound of sirens, that's another thing you don't want to be hearing when you're trying to film. And then I also have a charger for my camera and an adapter, depending on which place I'm going to. This will vary accordingly, so this is for European plugs, obviously. I've just come back from, where was I? Florence in Italy. That siren just keeps on starting up and stopping and starting up and stopping and it's making this really quite difficult. Although it does mean that someone else out there is probably having a worse day than me, so I shouldn't really complain. Then in this bag, this also came with the rucksack by the way, so as well as the laptop case in the back pocket, it came with this. And this is what I use to keep my laptop charger in, my hard drive for my laptop. So I have the Seagate 4 terabyte. I don't know if you can see that very well. Oh, I've also got a micro SD adapter in here in case I film anything on my GoPro, which I haven't taken anywhere with me for a while now, so probably unlikely. And, oh my gosh, this. This is the one thing that I really hate about my new MacBook Pro. As many of you probably know, it's kind of old news now, the new MacBook Pros don't have the ports for USBs or SD cards, so I have this little, uh, what's the word? It goes from a USB type C, which is what my MacBook Pro has plenty of, <laughs> uh, and it gives you three USB drives and one SD card and one micro SD card. So actually now I don't even need that little micro SD card adapter that I have in my hard drive case. I've got such a bad frog in my throat at the moment. Can you hear it? It's like super ribbity in there. Uh... So I think that's everything then really. I don't think there was anything else I needed to say. Oh, actually one thing I did want to mention was that if you are traveling on a long haul flight in particular, I like to have a scarf with me. I've had experiences of being really, really cold on flights and even if I've had jumpers on, if my neck's sticking out, my neck has got really cold before and I've ended up arriving in a place with a really sore throat. In fact, a couple of years ago, in fact, almost exactly a couple of years ago when I flew out to LA to shoot a commercial, I arrived with a really sore throat from being so cold on the flight and the next day I woke up with no voice which as you can imagine is really fun when you're trying to work on a commercial and you need to be able to communicate with people. Anyway, uh, that's just another little tip, but that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did, and if you didn't, then you can let me know too, but try not to be too mean. I'm just trying to think of ideas for content here, guys. And any ideas you do have of other things you would like to see, as you know, I'm trying to put up one of these kind of videos once a week now, which is kind of, a big jump from what I'm used to. Uh, so let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time guys.